Hey guys, Ray Spray Wash Tallahassee uh, doing another proportioner install on my uh, Water Dragon. Um, one of the questions I hear a lot about is the wiring of these booster pumps. Uh, we're using a Goulds here. This is the uh, 5 GBS 10 model, uh, which is a uh, one horse booster. Uh, you can see on the, the sheet here the spec panel. One horse, uh, when I wire it for uh, 110, it's going to draw 11.4 um, or 12.4 amps, uh, which will allow for a 2,000 watt generator uh, to pull it. But where we're talking about on the wiring here, these units will typically come wired for uh, two, uh, 240, 220, 240. And uh, the specs here show on the high voltage, there's a diagram. Uh, think of the line and the line as your, uh, what, you're, what you're hooking up to it. Uh, the individual wires inside the pump are marked. And you can see here it's marked J28. Um, one and two. Now here is the low voltage diagram, so you'll have to move some of these wires around. That's what I've done on this pump, and I'll show you, for example, the J and the 8. The J was at the number 3 position, it's now moved to the number 4 position. So, the 8, and you can see the wire is marked 8. That's been moved to this number 4 slot, as is the brown, which is J. Uh, this blue is number 1, and that's up here in this top position. This white is the number 2, and that is down here in this lower position. Okay? There's really three positions you can have on these pumps. You can have this upper, and it's got three ears. This middle, and it also has three ears. And this lower has three ears. Or, uh, there's three screws. Each, each screw position has three of these ears on here. And by ears, I might not be using the right terminology, but I'm, I'm pointing it at the ears. So, uh, on this particular pump, I have, I've already bench tested it. This is the correct wiring uh, specifications for uh, a 110 operation on this. One of the things I like to do is, is go and crimp on um, these connectors because they will just slide right on to the leftover ears in the proper uh, position as needed and it just makes for easy um, easy access easy wiring on there instead of trying to uh, bolt something on to those to those nuts there so this pump is now officially wired um, I can put the plate back on there so again, you've got three positions, one, two, and three. Each one of those three positions has three ears where you can uh, attach wires to. And the proper position is over here. This is 220, this is 110. Uh, so unless you're using a 220 generator, uh, you're probably gonna wanna go with the low voltage option on there. These pumps can all be a little bit different, a little bit confusing, uh, but typically there is going to be a wiring diagram either on the pump or in the documentation. Now coming out of here, I have um, my extension cord. I know a lot of these, you know, if you buy them from Power Wash Store, they'll come automatically uh, wired, but this is the uh, option if you're doing it yourself. Um, I got a 12 amp uh, extension cord and I just went and cut the end off of it 
uh, for that. And let me set the phone down and lay this out a little better. I'm still with you. Uh, I go into, so coming out of there, I bought a waterproof uh, box that has a switch in it. So I'm on and off. Uh, that goes into there, wires to the switch. And then coming out here is the original plug. I'll see if I can stretch this out so you can get a little better idea of it this gives me enough room okay so there to the box and then to the cord I'm trying to remember if I got a 15 foot or a 25 foot cord I think it was just a 15 foot uh, cord that I sacrificed for this uh, don't cheat don't don't go cheap on your electrical get a 12 amp um, or 12 gauge cord um, that's preferable and now I'll take this box and mount it to the sidewall of the generator or I might or sidewall of the box or I might even mount it um, inside hope this answers any questions you have about the wiring of this pump uh, feel free to message me on Facebook um, send me an email, text me, call me. I'll try to walk you through it. Hey, have a great day.